Hi Pisces, this is your November mid-month love reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous experience today. So I'm gonna shuffle you guys a crowning energy for this month. We're gonna look into your energy and then we'll be looking into the energy of your person. Remember guys, not all messages will resonate. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you want something really specific, I would recommend getting a personal reading. But let's look into your energy first, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Pisces for the month of November in love. There was a card that fell on the floor, but I don't read cards that fall on the floor. I always take that as a sign um, that Spirit is just discarding that card from the deck because it's not necessary for the reading. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, so you have happiness. So I'm seeing the vibe of like a love triangle or just having a lot of options this month. Like some of you are just swimming through life with all of your options and you're feeling really good, really confident. Um, it's almost as if your joy and your happiness is bringing people in this month. It's drawing people in. You have this very magnetic energy about you. You're very much in the public eye this month is what I'm seeing. Like you have a lot of attention and you know, people are wanting to see what Pisces is doing. Some of you could be in the process of traveling because you do have the chariot here. But I'm seeing you taking control over your own emotions in the month of November. Because I think for some of you, for so long, you may have let somebody else be in control of your emotions. And now you're in a place of self-love and empowerment. Look at this card. It's green. That's heart chakra energy. So you're really focused and centralized in the heart chakra this month. But I do think that, you know, even though you're putting out this vibe of growth and positivity and happiness, there is this kind of secret... There's a secretive vibe about all of this, so maybe some of you aren't expressing fully how you feel. I'm seeing some of you having a lot of low-key connections in the month of November. It's like, you know, you've got... I'm seeing somebody who has a boyfriend in Mexico and then has another boyfriend in New York City. You know what I mean? It's like all over the place. Um, or you could have, you know, one girlfriend in one part of town and then another girlfriend in another part of town. but. Either way, it's just like a lot of options are present here. And I think some of you have kind of bit off more than you can chew. I think some of you are really going to be getting, almost narrowing down your options this month. Because some of you have a lot of attention from people and it's becoming a little overwhelming is what I'm seeing. Yeah, Eight of Cups. I do feel like some of you are going to be kind of moving on from some of these options, searching for better Because, like I said, some of you are becoming overwhelmed with a lot of these options. I'm seeing somebody who has a lot of secret, low-key, kind of down-low connections. And people are talking. That's kind of what I'm picking up. Like, people are talking and your name might come up and this person's name might come up. But it was supposed to be low-key. You know what I mean? But it's, it's not or at least it's not going to be for long. Like there may be somebody here who talks about getting with you or talks about being with you when it was supposed to be low key. And some of you feel like maybe embarrassed or something like that. There's some kind of burden for from someone kind of spilling the beans or telling a secret here. And I think that some of you may walk away from this person. You're like, look, I can't trust you, okay? like. We agreed that this was going to be, you know, something that was just casual, something very low key. And you had to go and blab your mouth because someone got excited that they got the Pisces. Someone got real excited. Um, and I think that they just, they had to tell somebody. You know, this is somebody who had to tell somebody that they were with you and they screwed it up because of it. So let's look at the energy of your person. What is the energy of Pisces, 
person in the month of November in love. Denial. Okay. So somebody is in denial of their own happiness. You know, somebody hasn't, it hasn't quite hit them how happy you make them or something of that nature. Let's look. Yeah, it could be an earth sign that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm seeing some of you walking away from a Cancer or maybe a fire sign. And you might be pursuing a new opportunity with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but there's a lot of doubt here. And I think it's more so on this person's end, to be quite honest. I think that this person is a little bit doubtful. You know, and that's going back to that denial card. It's almost the energy of like, too good to be true. Somebody feels like you are too good to be true. Or maybe you feel this way about somebody else. Because remember, all these messages can be flipped, reversed, and switched to be applied to your situation. So I do see an offer coming through. Strong earth sign energy once again. Um, somebody here is going to be buying you a gift, Pisces, or they're going to be buying you gifts in the month of November. I'm seeing somebody buying somebody a plane ticket or something like that. Somebody may even be buying somebody a home or paying somebody's rent. Okay, I see you, Pisces. Some of you got a little bit of a a sugar mama or a sugar daddy going on here. Like this person might be paying your rent or they might be paying your car or they might be paying for you to travel with them or something like that. Pay for you to go backpacking. I'm not quite sure. And of course this won't resonate with all of you, but I do see where somebody here has a sugar mama. Okay, that is what I'm picking up here with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone possibly has a sugar mama. But, you know, going back to the energy that I was picking up on earlier, I do feel like there is this sense of denial. Somebody just feels like you are so beautiful, Pisces. They feel like you are so gorgeous. And you are, okay? Because you're a Pisces. I love Piscean people, okay? I really, really do. I'm obsessed with you guys. <laughs> I feel like you guys just complete me. <laughs> um, I have so many Pisces friends and I just love them all so much. But what I'm picking up here with the Empress is this person, you know, they, they've really got it down. Okay, like they've really got a hold over their life. This is somebody who is successful. You know, they've really got it going on for them. This person could be a model or, you know, just somebody very attractive, very abundant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, and I almost see that maybe somebody here is in denial that they're with somebody else because this person is just so, um, like I'm almost getting the vibe of like a celebrity. Like some of you might be dealing with a celebrity or somebody who's just very popular, somebody who has a lot of attention, or maybe this is you, maybe you're a celebrity or you have a lot of attention and this person is like in denial. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm actually talking to Pisces. Like they're actually giving me the time of day. And I think it kind of worries them. Like, I think this opportunity with you kind of worries them. They feel almost like intimidated by you. That's kind of what I'm picking up. They feel intimidated by your beauty, or maybe this is how you feel about them. Um, it feels as though this person maybe doesn't feel like they have enough to offer. Like they might feel like you're out of their league or something like that. Yeah, there's a lot of doubt here. Like they wanna make an offer to you, but I think they're very indecisive. They're very doubtful because they may feel like you're out of their league. They may feel like you, um, they kind of put you on a pedestal a little bit is what I'm seeing. And it, it makes them feel nervous. It makes them feel worried because they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. But this person actually does have a lot. That's what I'm picking up. Like they're coming up as the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. So this person does have a lot to offer. I mean, they, they're really putting it out all on the table here too. Like they really got a lot to offer Pisces. But this person kind of struggles maybe with like their security or like their sense of security within themselves. And I think they're kind of um, question, questioning that. Like like I said, they put you on such a high pedestal. Like I think this person may be pretty important or they may have some kind of social status. But even with that social status, 
this person still kind of views you as higher than them or views you as above them in some way, shape or form because they kind of idealize you and they put you on a pedestal. They're like, wow, Pisces is so abundant. Pisces is so beautiful. Like, you know, and I only have this to offer. I only have such little to offer. They're, they're kind of like maybe comparing themselves, not necessarily comparing themselves because it's not like, it's not like they, they, they're jealous of you or anything like that. Like it's not that energy. It's more of like, they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. And they really want to make an offer to you, but they just don't feel like they have enough. So they're feeling very doubtful. But let's look at the energy that binds the two of you together. Oh, grief. Interesting, interesting energy that binds you two together. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of center chakra energy, you know, heart chakra, solar plexus, and sacral. I feel as though this person has gone through something. I think that they're filled with a lot of regret or they're filled with a lot of maybe guilt or something like that, or, or even maybe it is grief. I'm seeing where maybe this person kind of had it all or something like that. They, you know, they may have lost it or something of that nature. They may be having to start back over from square one. And that's kind of why they don't feel like they have enough. I, I'm not quite sure, but I'm seeing where this person has recently lost something or someone. So, and, and, and you have too, you know, you're, this is the energy that binds the two of you together and it's grief. So both of you are really bonding with one another through your own grief and through your own burdens and wounds. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So I'm getting the vibe of somebody who's really having a reality check here or somebody who's having some kind of wake up call. Um, they're basically realizing that they need to be more grateful for things and people in their life. That's what I'm picking up as well. You know, going back to that energy that I picked up earlier about somebody who had lost maybe everything that they had, lost their status, they lost their money, um, and they've kind of had to start back over again. This has given them a new sense of awareness, or maybe this is you, this has given you a new sense of awareness um, that has made somebody realize here that they need to appreciate the things and the people in their life more. So I'm seeing where this emotional grief binds the two of you together. So you're really going to kind of learn how to appreciate one another and sometimes even more importantly, how to be appreciated. Because sometimes we don't want to accept appreciation from others. You know, we don't want to accept these gifts that others bring us. And Pisces, I'm picking up that this person wants to give you some kind of gift. They want to make some kind of offer. They want to come through here. They see an opportunity with you. They do, but they're just so nervous. They're so nervous because maybe they feel like they'll lose you. Um, or like I said earlier, maybe they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. But that is what I'm seeing here. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and click the link down below in the description box. It'll take you to my website and you can book there. But other than that, I will see you later. Take care, Pisces, and have a beautiful rest of your month. Bye-bye.